Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Road to Glory Way to Showdowns Bundesliga. So in the background you can see two nice looking gold players in the team uh, and they are fairly solid ones as well with Paulinho and also David Luiz. So the first wager we're going to go for today is for Lima, the uh, non-rare Brazilian striker. Now if you lot want to see and even help me out with some non-rare players of what to get in the team make sure you hit me up in the comment section below about what players you want to see in the team. Also, first things first, go and check out FIFA Coins Online for your ultimate team coin needs. Their link is in the description. Also, remember to check out the Facebook page as well. So, in the profit total, we are so close to already making a million coins in this series. But unfortunately, a few losses have cost me dearly along the way. Now, hopefully in the first game, even though these uh, this first wage is only for 5k, we could actually make the million coins this episode. Now, this guy had a very nice team. Uh, two players causing me a lot of pain and frustration by just looking at that team sheet. And uh, Syriac is the worst player to ever come up against. But uh, in the early stages of this match, he dominated with the pressure. And he got a very, very nice long shot there with Vargas. Very, didn't expect it either. He just ran me around in a circle and uh, scored an awesome goal. And then not long after that, his custom set piece worked absolutely perfectly. And uh, completely threw me out of the game. But near the closing stages of the match, I managed to get some sort of, uh, well, I, I started to get some sort of comeback. Uh, and it was needed because I was getting dominated all game. So in the uh, 78th minute, we did score there with Wallison. And then obviously, when the 90th minute appears, AIDS happens. But a very, very tidy finish there for Wallison to get his brace and uh, take the game into extra time. Uh, and what, well... It just turns into an epic game and very, very open. Managed to get a rebound here and uh, just play it around the edge of the area. Whip it in and then uh, Paulinho slotting in with a true volley. But he wasn't done there. Even though the wages are for 5k, I seem to find that the people who try the hardest and are the harder opponents are the people who I am wagering for 5k. Kanu uh, there scoring an awesome goal before the uh, end of the first half of stop it uh, in, uh, extra time uh, being sick and stuff but in penalty shootouts we did miss a penalty and uh, he just continuously went just complete i'm absolutely terrible at saving penalties and he absolutely ran riot and uh, unfortunately he does managed to be solid with every single penalty even though we were not bad we just miss that one penalty and uh, then going to the last penalty here he does tuck it away sorry to ruin that for you but it's very difficult uh very annoyed i just didn't stand there and catch it but it's one of them things so in the first game we do take a loss unfortunately now when i'm taking the losses it's thankful that all the losses i'm going for happen when he informs um it's a bit of a tactic really because at least when we take it out and inform we're going down to a decent player anyway so even though we're getting rid of Paulinho out of the team here we're going to get in Neto Barola who uh, is an awesome striker and he was one of the first ones we ever wagered for so we've got him back in the team with uh, Wallison so hopefully them two will do some damage and get us some more players into the club maybe trying to uh, get some better upgrades as well so the same stipulation applies uh this guy could have had two but he only had one goal in there and that was adler the upgraded version now another set piece there conceded very painful at custom set pieces i never seem to be able to deal with them uh, and i get very very annoyed but the game felt like th this game felt it was mine there was a bit of bullshit about uh as you can see there ball bounced straight out to uh leonardo on the uh, 51st minute and he does do a cheeky little lob even though it's not meant to be cheeky it's just me having my button stuck on the left or right bump i'm not sure which button it is um and then in the 67th minute we got well we turned him and a near post up here with wallison making it 2-1 so the game's looking fairly safe there miranda possibly is going to be coming to the team uh, nice scoop to turn there to do the keeper so with nepenthes back in net i thought fuck it i'm going to put nepenthes on the uh going to put Nepenthes on the penalty give him a goal on his stat sheet even though stats don't count for friendly games they really should though uh, they really should so he lines himself up left we go directly above him and the ball bounces off the keeper on the floor and goes in so there we are Nepenthes scoring his first goal for the road to glory wager showdowns team 
epic, epic start. So there we are, three on win, Miranda in the team also. So we managed to get rid of um, Zalau. So we're going to take out Zalau and then put uh, Miranda on the outside. I think further down the line, I'll probably end up swapping Miranda for David Luiz and putting him on the outside. Don't know why, I just feel like Miranda's more of a central centre-back. Uh, maybe you lot in the comment section below can hit me up with which you prefer and where you would like to see them more. So, in the last game of this episode, we're going to go for an upgrade of Luis Gustavo. We're going to put him there, get rid of Asen Sao. If we do win, uh, if we do lose, we'll be bringing back in Juicele. It's that simple. So, the team we come up against, Inform Kaskabas, Michael but Batista, I think it is at centre-back. A very, very pacey centre-back. Very pacey attack as well. So, he does get me on another set-piece. I just feel like Rota Shaw here cannot defend on corners. And Batista does put him ahead with a 1-0 lead. But going into the game, he was very fast at closing me down. Quite an annoying player to play against. Bit of skill there. Got very, very lucky. Ball bouncing out to Barola, who's going to score on his return back to the squad. So a nice return for him in the 10th minute, equalising. But this guy's constant pressure was ridiculous. I thought I could read him. I was wrong. He completely skipped past me there. And Lua Lua extending the lead to 2-1 for him, giving him it back. Quite annoyed. Um, I'm not going to lie, but we got lucky just before half time there. Wallace and were a bit of trickery outside and then kneel, nailed it into the bottom corner. Very, very nice finish, but then the bullshit fairy come to uh, come to visit. My defence just felt all over the place here. I couldn't defend like this. It, I couldn't believe that touch. And he does get the lead back there with Kazim Richards going through on goal. Um, so very annoyed and then hitting the close to the 75th minute mark he does manage to extend the lead to 4-2 tidy tidy finish off from Luwalua not going to fail him because I can never hit a volley like that it's ridiculous uh, but it was a nice volley by him and he does make it 4-2 and we do get a consolation goal here nice finish from Wallace and putting it into the far corner but unfortunately it was a little bit too little too late and we didn't get another attack in the game so unfortunately guys this is two losses in one episode not a good look to be fair and we do go down the money as well so, Marco Asensau out of the team. Even though he's a bit slow, um, we are getting a bit of an upgrade here. We're going to put our man Juicele back in the team um, because he's an awesome player, 74 rated, a lot faster, and he could do a lot more skills in the future. So there we have it, guys. That is episode of the Road to Glory Wages Showdowns done. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check out FIFA Coins online for your ultimate team coin needs. And also comment in the section below about what I've been asking through this episode. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.